Hello everyone, this is Pop Potsy here, and today I'm going to be showing you a video of 0.9.0 Alpha before, basically just some terrain features. A lot of people have been requesting another video um, showing some of the terrain differences in this version versus the 0.8.0 version, which most of you already are aware of what the differences are as far as 0.8.0 goes, because most of you have probably played that. Um, so, for example, here we spawned in this, in this nice little area. You can see this river going through way over there and you see a river like that wouldn't have been reasonable in 0.8.0 because 0.8.0 the world size was like 256 by 256 so that river alone would be basically the hunt the entire world of pocket edition so they had to wait for the infinite worlds to add a lot of features like that now over here you can see things like this too which are simply not really available in 0.8.0 you know and you've got i'm sure we've got um different caves and things down there too but the entire terrain generation is awesome you know you've got such cool setups down here and different actual trees and the tall trees and the shorter trees that's a random random thing I don't, I don't know if this is a bug over here with this tree or if it's purposely purposely sitting there I, I, I would guess that's a bug but you know most of the time I don't see trees growing out of the side of a mountain like that but maybe it isn't I don't know I wouldn't be sure but you know, and they're still working with the terrain generation, so you never know. And look at how many trees. Look at these trees. These forests were not like this in 0.8.0 because they could not be, you know, because 0.8.0, the world was so small. This goes on forever and ever and ever, and it never ends. And these trees, there's so many bloody trees, which is only one type of biome. You know, there's forest biomes. Um, they've added so many biomes. For those of you that don't know, um, they've, of course, updated the, the desert biome. They've got extreme biomes now, massive forest. They've got tiger. They've got frozen places. They got jungles. Uh, Mesa. I, I think I showed Mesa in another video actually. Mesa is like the reddish kind of a place. It almost looks like Mars. You know, it's got those sort of uh, different tones of of red coloured and tan coloured blocks. It, it's almost like a desert, but not. Um, they've also got deep oceans and swamps. So swamps are awesome. I, I I'm, I'm used to swamps because I used to play the PC version a lot before. Before I got into Pocket Edition, you know, and I, I bought the PC version actually right when it came out. It was in alpha and beta stages, you know, and um, so I played Minecraft s since it came out. Basically, it's been years I've been playing it, and once Pocket Edition came out, though, that's when I started to actually do YouTube about Minecraft. Ooh, there we go. I think we've got another biome. All right, I don't know what that is though. To be honest, that is a weird looking ground. I don't know what this is. Is this is this called Tiger? I don't know if this is. What would it be? Savannah, no, no, Savannah's like what you would imagine Lion King. I think that's what the Savannah biome is. I honestly don't know what this is called. I should know, but I really don't. You know, and I've seen it before in Minecraft on the PC, but is this only one small bit? It might just be this small section. This is a small biome, isn't it? Let me let me, let me fly up here. Yeah, it's just right here. It's just one random section. Maybe it's not a biome. Maybe it's really just that type of a grass. I don't know. Maybe it just grows grass like that. I have no idea, to be honest. Well, it was kind of cool, though. It's kind of cool looking, you know, in the middle of nowhere, which is more realistic because that's how a real forest would be, you know? If you're walking in real life in a real forest, oh, it's got more over here. You'd see more sections like this, you know? In a real forest, you don't always see the same thing. You see things like this, variation of the, of the actual uh, earth and things like that. Oh, we've got some, some mossy cobble here, too. And I don't think this actually means anything. I don't think mossy cobblestone in a forest signifies anything special. I think it's just mossy cobblestone. I don't think that means there's a stronghold by. I, I don't think it means anything. It's probably just cobblestone that's got moss all over it because it's in the middle of a forest. You know, that would be the logical reasoning to why that might be placed there. It used to be where you could only get that stuff in like... Oh, what was it? I think it was like... You could only get it in mob spawner areas, you know, because like, that, that's what they're surrounded by. But I think now they've added it in quite a few more areas to be much more natural with the game. Um... So this forest is huge. Look at these trees. These trees are really tall, you know? It is crazy. And you've got all these caves. I haven't even gone on the caves, really. I should probably show you guys a cave sometime. Maybe I'll show you one today. I don't know. You know, caves are awesome because, you know, you can actually mine now. And you've got mine set up. Ooh, wolves. I love wolves. Oh, come here. Come here, you. You know, the first time I got... Me and my brother were playing Minecraft, and it was funny because he asked how you tame a wolf. I told him with a bone, you know? And he, he, he hit the wolf with the bloody bone. And it, it killed him. It, it shoved him off a mountain. And it really mad at me. You didn't tell me you had to right click or press and hold. Oh my. Well, you know, if you whack a dog with a bone, do you expect them to like you or to bite you? You know, it, it seemed obvious to me, but 
anyway. Yeah, he kind of died. But anyway, um, wolves are awesome. I think I made another... I made a video, I think, on Alpha Build 3. So that last build, I made one about wolves. So if you want to watch that, you can click on that video and check those out. I talked a little bit about wolves, endermen, a few of the different mobs that there are available. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want my render distance on, you know? It's, do I really... Do I want it this far or do I want it one down? You feel like you should be able to handle it, you know? And I can't tell if it's being... Why it's being... A little bit choppy which they're going to do optimizing this weekend i think that's what what they were saying they're going to be focusing on is optimizing getting better frame rate making it so mobile devices can handle this a lot better which which i'm already surprised with what they've done to be honest but some of the older devices are going to have a lot of struggles this device is a nexus 7 2013 it's got a quad core processor as well as two gigabytes of ram which two gigabytes of ram may not seem like a ton but as far as mobile devices are concerned, that is pretty darn good. And they, they're they optimizing so that devices with 512 MB, so that's a quarter of what I have on this device, can um, use the Infinite World. So they're really working on this, but there is still a lot of limitations as far as mobile devices go. They're slowly pushing the edge. Um, slowly, all the devices are going to become more and more struggles as far as these updates go. But for now, it sounds like... If you've got single core processor devices, if you want to know exactly what devices, you can ask me, but I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, the iPhone 4 has a single core processor. That was the last iOS device with a single core processor exclusive of the iPad. So uh, iPhone 4S it introduced the dual core. So anything from iPhone 4S and up will have a dual core processor, which I believe they recommend when it comes to Infinite Worlds. Um, iPod Touch 5th Gen also has a dual core. The iPad Mini 1st Gen has a dual core processor. So anything from there on uh, will be perfectly fine. You know, iPhone 5s, iPhone 5s's will be perfect. Anything about that. Um, iPad 1 and 2. I believe 2, actually. I believe the iPad 2 actually has a dual core. I think it does. So that shouldn't be a problem either. And what we're experiencing here is a massive ocean, probably what's called the deep ocean biome, which is really stupid because, you know, we don't even have boats. Why are they making massive oceans? We don't even have boats. How are you supposed to swim across something like that, you know? That's crazy. If you, if you start in a world like this, like an island, and you've got water all around you, it's going to take forever to get off of it because there's no boats. You know, I think they should add boats immediately. I think they were supposed to add them, actually, in this update, but I don't think they did. So, well, I know they didn't, but I, th I think... I think I don't know if they forgot to add that in the plan. I, I really don't know what happened. That's too bad, though, because boats are really fun. It's fun to go, like, swim the water, you know, and bump each other with the boats and, and break your friend's boats and then kill them. But anyway... Or be nice, you know. <laughs> I just like to kill people on the boat sometimes. I don't know why it's fun to me, but it is. Um, but I love how the world's gone forever, you know. It makes it really nice. Because then you don't have to worry. And if you start in a world, like Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.8.0, you know you know how the worlds were like 256 by 256. So it's really small. So if you spawn in a world that you don't really like, or it's com sometimes it's completely snow or completely desert, something like that. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's so stupid. But then when you spawn worlds like this with Infinite Worlds, if you start somewhere you don't like, you can just walk away. You just walk somewhere else and you pick a new place to go. And you've got infinite animals everywhere like this. You've got little herds of them. You can go slot to them and make yourself a bed. So it's really much better this way. I don't know what's going on with those leaves. Oh, it just wasn't rendering. Um, and as you can see over there, just watch. See those grass over there? Tall grass. Watch as I get closer. More and more of it will spawn right there. See, I've optimized how that works on mobile devices because... Um, I don't know if most of you know, but leaves and these are the worst thing ever when it comes to a processor. These things lag like no other thing. I can't remember the specifics of the graphics of why, but it has to do with the fact that they are see-through. So if you turn off fancy, these no longer become see-through. So let me, let me show you, actually. If you turn off the fancy graphics, just watch. Notice how much smoother it becomes. And these things are no longer see-through. These still are, so it's still complicated with that. But the leaves, these... I can't remember the exact details. You can look it up on the forums, actually. But there is a reason that those are monsters when it comes to power and CPU. So those things destroy your device. And having all this world loaded can take a toll on your RAM and CPU as well, which is why they recommend you have dual-core processors and at the absolute minimum, a half gigabyte of RAM, which is the equivalent to 512 MB for those of you that were not aware, which would be like an iPhone or a 4s i think the iphone 5 is when they started adding a gigabyte to each phone so iphone 5 and up will have a gigabyte um nexus phones should have two gigabytes unless it's a really old version but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
I went through quite a bit, you know, flew around and showed you some of the terrain and basically just showing you what it looks like out here and how things actually generate. A little bit of technical details, you know, just a little bit more for you to see because Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.0.0 could take a little bit longer for development. They're still working on things, optimizing. I don't think it's quite ready for public release. They've still got quite a few things to review and ultimately change before the actual public version comes out for iOS and Android. So in order to experience this, once again, I'll say this in this video, I, I've said it in the other, the prior videos, um, in order to test this, for those of you wondering how I'm testing this, um, it's required that you have an Android device. So I'm using my Nexus 7 here. And then you can join the Google community and get the beta download. So I put a link down in the description for that so you can go click on that and join the community. If you are an iOS device, there is no current beta testing system for that. In iOS 8, there will be. I don't know if Mojang will utilize that or not, but if they do, they'll be able to have a thousand test users for iOS as well. So I don't know how that's gonna roll completely, but for now, on 0.9.0, you will be required to have an Android device. But they are accepting everyone. It's a public community, so you can just click join and get the beta. You don't have to wait for anything. Sometimes it can take a little time to affect and actually apply to your device so you can get the version, but usually it won't take more than 10 minutes, I wouldn't say, so I've tested going back and forth. But anyway, thanks everybody again. I hope you enjoy and you have a great rest of the day.